What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We're going to go over the games that we saw today. Alright, let's go over Miami Heat versus the Boston Celtics. A game that went into overtime. Um, Jimmy Butler, man, he hit two clutch shots. He came to show up. This Miami Heat team is for real, man. They play good defense. They battle you to the end. And... I think this is going to go seven games with the Boston Celtics because I told you the Boston Celtics have good offensive power. All right, and you can see throughout the game that they was hanging with the Boston, um, the Miami Heat. They was hitting shots. They were in lead for most of the game. So they're going to have the only problem with them is they're going to have to match the intensity and energy that the Miami Heat bring because Miami Heat does score and they play defense. The Boston Celtics, they play good defense, but sometimes they get too scoring centric. Okay, they look to score too much sometimes. That could be their Achilles heel. But I think this is going to go seven games. And I'm just going to give the slight edge to the Miami Heat. But what a game. And happy birthday to Jimmy Butler. Turns 31 years old today. He's clutch. What a great birthday present to hit clutch shots and win the game for your team. Okay, but then there takes us to the second game. The Clippers versus the Nuggets. Kawhi Leonard goes scoreless in the second half. I mean, in the fourth quarter, he goes scoreless. He scored zero points in the fourth quarter. I repeat, zero points in the fourth quarter for Kawhi Leonard. Utterly disappointing. And shout out to Blue Bowl. I guess he was right. You always said the Clippers was overrated. And you said Kawhi Leonard was a tad bit overrated. And, bro, you was right, man. He... He's going to have to deviate his crown. And no more being called the best player in basketball. And I think, I can honestly say, this was his 2011. Same way LeBron choked in 2011, this was Kawhi's 2011. And this one series takes him out of the GOAT conversation. He will never be in a GOAT conversation ever again. All right? This single-handedly takes him out because he was favorites to win titles this year and he couldn't get the job done. He would never be perceived as a GOAT because he's he's can't he can't dominate all year. Alright, he doesn't have the individual more individual accolades to back it up. So we could take Kawhi Leonard out the GOAT conversation and he would never be considered a top five all-time great. He had a chance, but I don't think he's gonna go off to do it. I think it's over with him for now on. And it's gonna be harder because guess what? The West is only going to get better. The Warriors are coming. The Nuggets are still going to be good. Um, New Orleans Pelicans is going to be good. A lot of teams in the West are going to get better and better. And Kawhi Leonard's knees aren't going to get better and better. So it looks like he's going to have to drift off. He's going to have to um, you know, disappear, basically. And his level of play is going to go down. Kawhi Leonard will not be the best player in basketball, considered the best basketball player no more. I think next season it's going to be between the next challenger. LeBron James is going to be crowned NBA champion. He's going to be crowned the best player in basketball right now. I still believe the championship is going to come out of Los Angeles. And with that being said, his next challenger is going to be none other than LeBron. Ramon James. Okay, that's his name. His next challenge is going to be, sorry, Kevin Durant, okay? Kevin Durant versus LeBron James will be the next challenge. Those two will be the next two guys that will have to compete against each other. Those two will be the next two guys that will have to compete for that crown, okay? So King LeBron James versus Kevin Durantula. That's going to be the next challenger for that crown for best player in the game because Kawhi Leonard gets bumped down now. So he's going to have to hit back to the drawing board. And what a, what a disaster for the Clippers. Now they're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back and look at what they could do to get back into shape. To get their um, mojo back, so to speak. It's a damn shame. Man, and I deserve this. Jeez. That slap in the face from Napoleon Dynamite. For even thinking this guy was close to baby Jordan. Or close to Jordan. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. Prince Sports out. Keep it 3,000.